Okay, we are live. Fighting out the red corner. Red trunks, gold trim. 21 wins, two defeats. Ten of the victories coming by way of knockout. He's a 2012 U.S. Olympian. He's a United States Olympic, I mean, Marine Corps veteran from Corrin, New York. The fighting Marine. Junior welterweight champion of the world. Semper Fi. Herring. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Right uh, here is good. Right here is good. You're in tune to Rafael Dawkins Combat Radio. And we're looking at Jamil Herring versus Jonathan Oquendo. Okay. <laughs> right. So, round one. We're off. Oh, gosh. Was he just knocked down? Was Herring just knocked down or he slipped? Could have been a knockdown. I think, how old is he now? 34? They said it was a slip. 34? Okay. First round. Two minutes, 30 seconds remaining. What's going on here? What's going on? What's going on? Okay. Get tied up. <laughs> they tied up on the ropes. Okay, referee breaks him. Nice right hand from uh, Herring. Uh oh. Woke up in a pool of sweat. Trying to get into what was then the new day July 14th. He was openly talking about that at best he felt like he was about 80 or 90%. Okay, so as a quendo, kind and he gets tied up a little bit when he comes in with his head low, comes in with his head low again, working to the body with one hand, tying up with the other hand. It's the first round, and Okendo's already found his way home in the inside. Yeah. Quendo has already right found now, his way right now, on the inside. Nice left hook by Aquendo. He doesn't need to be there. He's fighting a shorter man. He has a longer reach. He Herring needs to, needs to keep it more at range. Needs to keep it more rangy. Doesn't have to come in so close. As a taller man, he's got to use his attributes. Keep it on the outside. Aquendo trying to come in on the inside. And he's having some he's having some luck with that. So uh Herring needs to needs to fight to his advantages. And we know where his advantages lie or lay. Is it lay or lie? Is it lay or lie? Yeah, either way. He knows what he's got to do. Okay, so it's the first round. Do not adjust your sets. Do not adjust your sets and get the Get the writing in. Where are we?
What's going on here? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? We got some. What's going on? What's going on here? What's going on? Uno mo mento. Uno no mo mento. Going on over it. What's going on here? Okay, so I lost the connection there. We're now in round two. Now, Herring is doing the right thing. He's keeping it, he's keeping it a distance. He's doing the right thing now. Okay, lost the connection for a second there, but we're back. Okay, so Quendo was looking good in the first round, but now Herring. Herring is using his advantages, using his reach in the second round and faring much better. Aquendo came out a bit like a bat, bat out of hell. A shorter fighter taking it to the taller fighter. So my connection cut out. My connection cut out towards the end of the first round. Where Aquendo was looking better. So now I'm giving it one round per pace. One round per pace. Okay. So let me get this shizzle written up. Put some shiznicks up on your screen. Okay. So it's. Where are we? Where are we? So it's the end of round two right now. And uh, Aquendo is getting some advice, saying, hey, you got to get your head on his chest. You got to get your head on his chest. Keep turning and throwing. You got to throw hands and you got to do your work. That's Aquendo. That's Aquendo's corner talking. Be strong, so be alert. Okay. We're in round three. We're in round three now. Okay. Herring keeping it long. Aquendo coming in low. Trying to get in on the body of Herring. He had some success in the first round. Okay, so it's uh, <laughs> okay, so it's the it's the orthodox fighter in the champion herring versus a quendo, the southpaw, and uh, it's coming in with his head, coming in low with the head. He's a quendo. And uh, there's a lot of tying up. Every time he comes in, he looks to tie up. He looks. To, he wants to stay on the inside and do his work on the inside. We're talking about the challenger, Aquendo. And uh, a lot of close quarter work, a lot of clinching, a lot of clinching. Herring the taller fighter, he needs to keep it at range. Watch, oh, nice, uh, nice left hand. Or was that? Yeah, that's a nice left hand, followed by another in the third round. Oh, 
great left uppercut drops. Drops a quendo on the seat of his pants. And referees counted him to eight now in the corner and waves them on. Another nice left uppercut from Herring. Brian McIntyre telling him to give him the space for the uppercut. So it's something that they see. It's a tool they see as being a good one for the taller Herring on the shorter Aquendo. It's going to be there. A oh, nice uh, one, two. Oh, another uppercut from Herring. Looks like he's found, he's found a tool. Quendo don't care. He rushes in again. We're in round three, folks. We're in round three. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, 10 seconds left in the third round, and Aquendo has been dropped. Aquendo has been dropped. Okay, okay. So that's the end of the third, and uh, I'll give the first round to Aquendo, second and third to Herring. In the third round here, he dropped Aquendo with a sweet, sweet. Uppercut, left uppercut, uppercut to the jaw, the jaw section of a quendo. So third round goes to Herring. Uh oh, it's uh, correct that. Uh, okay. Whistles just sounded for the fourth round. Coming out for the fourth round now. And uh, it's the fourth round. Okay. Both come out pouring. Uh, Herring. The uh, Herring's a southpaw, is he not? He's a southpaw. And uh, Oquendo is the uh, orthodox. I think I said it the other way around earlier on. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, okay, so what are we looking at here? Aquendo looking to come in with a lunging shot and then get on the chest of Herring. Herring looking to keep it long. Keep it long. Nice body shot there. Oh, and another from Herring. Left hand to the body of Aquendo. Oh, upstairs, downstairs from from Harry. One to the head, one to the body. And now he's gone uh, right, left, right, left. One, two's doing the work in the one, twos. And uh, Aquendo comes in to clinch. Okay, a lot of clinching, a lot of breaking up from the referee. A lot of clinching. Oquendo is looking to clinch and doing so frequently. Okay. Um, <laughs> Herring looking with the straight, with a kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of looping, looping, looping jab, if you will, the arcing jab, coming in with the arcing jab. Aquendo's. Oh no, it's not Aquendo. It's uh, Herring's gum shield is out. Referee, referee puts it right in, dirt and all. <laughs> Don't wash that sucker off. <laughs> Just puts it straight in the 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 the, the mouth. Okay, so 
It's a uh, Herring's looking to pick him off when he comes in. Pick off a Quendo. A Quendo's lunging in and going low. Hence, there's a little bit of clinching frequently. Keeping it long is Herring. And a Quendo, the shorter guy, lunging into the body. It's the lunge and clinch. The lunge and clinch that he's working with repetitively, repeatedly. Lunge and clinch. <laughs> okay, so that's the end of the fourth round. I give the second, third, and fourth to the champion, Herring. We're now, we're now in the break. End of the fourth round. And uh, Aquendo looks a little bit looks a little bit marked up around the eyes. Of course, remember he was dropped in the third. We're talking about Aquendo. And to and keep a track of this. Let me get my scorecard right. What's that uh, Herring Oquendo uh, nine? It's a ten nine for Oquendo first round, and then since it's been ten all tens for Herring. Uh oh, I'm yeah, not the fifth round yet. Yeah, I've already given it to Herring. That's not good. That's bad form. Let's correct that. Okay, we're back into what we're into now. We're into the fifth round. And uh, Aquendo is looking for that left, right hook to the body. Sometimes he goes upstairs, switches it up. It's a left, right hook. It's a left jab, right hook. That's what Aquendo is coming with repeatedly and uh, falling short. Falling short with that, but he's using it repeatedly. Hey, you only need to get it right once, right? Am I right? Am I right? And the fifth round, oh, there's a little, 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 oh, oh, damn, that's a right left, that's a right jab, left uppercut from Herring, staggers, staggers Aquendo. He's good, he's on his feet, where Aquendo's keep on coming, Aquendo keeps on coming, keeps on, and uh, Herring ties him up when he gets on the inside. Well, he looks to tie up as well. So it's a repeated, repeated thing. It's repeated. Yep, yeah, nice left uppercut from Herring. Just to get on the inside. It's kind of weird over here because it's, uh, what, ESPN Plus production and what they do is they they pipe in they pipe in a crowd noise it's kind of it's kind of funny because you look away from the screen and from the sound you think that there's hold on what's happened head clash uh-oh 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 uh -oh. head clash it was always possible damn it's on the eyelid that's not good herring's eyelid cut that's not a good place Aquendo comes in with the head down low, right into the right eye of Herring. He's cut. It's not in a... Uh-oh. That's dangerous. That's a dangerous cut. That's a dangerous cut, people. Intentional coming together. The judge has... The referee has ruled intentional coming together. Timing, let's go. Intentional. Wow, that's interesting. I would agree with him. Stop, stop, stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The commission is going to clarify momentarily what the ruling will be based on the fact that Tony Weeks said. Yeah, Tony Weeks said he was an intentional clash of heads, which, you know, I don't disagree with him. It was not accidental. Okay, the action has restarted. Um, you know, it's a southpaw in a Quendo versus the Orthodox. 
of a Jamel Herring. Yeah, and uh, oh, yes, nice. The answer from Herring is the remember the, the southpaw Herring is the left uppercut, the right jab, and left uppercut. But uh, yes, 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 Herring has a nasty cut over the right eyelid on the eyelid of uh yeah the right eye and we see and it was ruled an intentional and it was certainly was intentional head first certainly was intentional use of the head one point deducted over there for an intentional head but okay okay one point one point intentional headbutt says tony weeks the referee two ten out two, two ten out right two ten eight rounds knockdown in the third and the point deduction in the fifth so that's ten eight we're now in the six just started the six and uh Herring working behind the jab, trying to, and then coming up with the left uppercut on Aquendo, who's coming in low, head first at times. And uh, right about now, Jamel lets rip with a series of hooks to the body of Aquendo. Yeah. Carl Frampton in the frame to fight Herring, champion v. champion, unification. So it's a jab, left uppercut. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, back in time, we're in the what round is it now? Sixth round. Yeah, we're in the sixth round. Aquendo got dropped in the third round, so that's a 10 8 round. Oh, was that was that a slip? Aquendo was down again, ruled a slip. Okay, so uh, that was the third round. 10 8 round since Aquendo got dropped with a sweet left uppercut and then in the fifth round Aquendo went in first with the head not the first time he's done it but this time he opened up a cut on the right eyelid on the right eyelid of Jamel Herring how's the sound like can you hear me nice and clear okay we're in the sixth round and uh herring just working well trying to work behind the jab but uh a quendo coming in low making that difficult lots of tying up very very untidy a quendo is trying to make it untidy as untidy as possible 10 seconds left in the sixth round and uh very very untidy very extremely untidy untidy work due to Aquendo's tactic to come in low, avoid the punches as much as possible, and tie up. Okay, so what's that? Six round done. 10-9. Going to the seventh round, showing a picture of Bob Arum as we speak. Okay, 
cameras on Bob Aram. It'd be nice if they go into the corner to see what the advice they're getting. Loud and clear. Excellente, excellente. Okay. We're ready for, or is this the seventh round? Okay. A bit low from a quendo. Comes in with the hooks. And then uh, head forward, of course. And uh, very untidy. Hasn't been a clean punch. Landed in the seventh. Okay. Quendo maybe got one to the body there. Delivered one to the body. Okay. So that's a bit of nice work there. Couple, couple hooks. Couple hooks from a quendo to the body. Herring gets off his first shot of the round, really. What was that? A left hook, a right hook. Yeah, the first one missed. The first one missed. Second one landed. And uh, making it very untidy is a quendo. But uh, he gets caught by a nice left hook to the jaw. Rocks him, but stays standing. And that's Bo Mack shouting, let your hands go. To his charge, Jamel Herring. Okay, and the Quendo doing his best to tie up every time. Every time they're in close, he looks to tie up. Tie up. Doing the tying up with his left arm and trying to get his work in with his right. Here's a quendo. This guy coming in with his head. And he's like, look, Mal's got to establish that jab because this guy's coming in head first. He's got to step around and pull yep. with the uppercut. Got to use the angles. Does Herring. Stop coming straight forward with his head as a weapon. Because the quendo's coming straight forward with his head as a weapon. Oh, Herring let's rip with a right one, two, three. A Bokendo is frustrating Herring. Quendo is frustrating Herring because every time he comes in, he comes in low and looks to tie up, making the fight very untidy. But uh, Herring doing the better work oh, just against the goal. Oh, nice left hook. Nice left hook from Herring to the jaw of a Quendo. Oh, nice uppercut as a Quendo charges in with his head first. Well, they're saying Herring's making the fight difficult for himself by not maintaining distance. And I think they're right. Easier said than done. But I think that's an accurate assessment. Oh, my gosh. Nice left. Nice left. What was that? Nice right left. Nice right left. From Herring to the jaw of Aquendo. As we come to the close or the end of the seventh round. Uh, another round which goes to Herring. But um, Aquendo making this, what would I say, ugly? Very awkward. Very awkward. There's not a lot of boxing going on. Um, due to Oquendo's tactic. And uh, what is that tactic? The tactic is going in low. That's the tactic he's using, is going in low. He's Oquendo. And uh, Herring, commentators are saying Herring's not making this easy for himself. Got to keep the distance easier said than done, but Terring is the champion after all. And uh, that's what he's got to do. Hands down, that's what he has to do. So uh, that was the seventh round, another round for Herring. 10-9 round. 
And uh, he knows what he, got, he knows what he's got to do. He's got to keep it long. He's got to keep it long. Of course, as we know, Herring has got he's got Frampton, Carl Frampton. Scheduled if he gets through this fight as a victor, then he's looking at then he's looking at Frampton, a unification with Frampton. Question is, is he gonna make it through this fight? The victor. And uh yeah. Right now it's looking that way. But of course, he got the cut. Receive the cut. What round was that? That was round five. Now into the eighth. Can Oquendo turn it around? That's the question. Because as you know, Aquendo got dropped, dropped in the third. That was a 10-8 round. And then he went in with a head in the fifth. Cut. Cut herring above the right eye with the headbutt. So that was a 10-8 round also. And uh, now we're in the eighth. It's on a Quendo to turn it around. And uh, it's on Herring. To keep the distance. That's got to be the tactic. That's what he's got to do. Keep the distance. Keep his distance. That's Harry. But can he do it? Can he do it? And avoid avoid the clash of heads. Can he do it? That is the question. Okay, they've waved it off. They've waved it off. Another clash of heads. Another clash of heads. We're going for the scorecards. Referees called it off. Referee, referee saying that it was an intentional foul. The fight is over. Referee explaining that Herring can't lose the fight. He can't lose the fight because it was an intentional foul. It's an intentional foul. Strictly ruled intentional. It's been called off. Yeah. 
Intentional foul. So Herring cannot continue. <laughs> but we don't know who's won and who's lost. There's some contention going on. The fight has not been ruled. They've got to wait for... They've got to wait for... You gotta wait for the ruling. Tense moments here. Very tense moments here. Yeah, just listening to the conversation with the commission and the referee. It, it didn't sound like it was right. Yeah. The referee saying you don't go to the scorecards. The commission is saying you have to go to the scorecards. But an intentional foul, they got it wrong. An intentional foul is a D, is effectively a DQ. So you don't go to the scorecards. There was initial intentional headbutt. There was a point deduction. He could continue at the time, but due to that same intentional headbutt, he is now unable to see. The eye is closed. He says he cannot see. Therefore, the doctor said he Herring's saying allow to Herring he can't to see. This fight. Herring's saying he can't see. Like we're going to the scorecards at this point because had it stopped at that time, the fight would have ended, but it ended later due to that same situation. Oh. So that's what the confusion is about. So maybe it wasn't another headbutt. Maybe the it's the same headbutt. Here. So we're right. waiting for the result now. The, the referees call the fight off. Because of a cut which happened earlier. Listen, that's why I'm stopping the fight. It's because of that intentional clash of heads. But now we're so there's some confusion. Saying they're gonna go to the scorecards. The referee is saying it's intentional, so you don't go to the scorecards. There's confusion in the ring. Is Herring going to lose his belt? Because the re because the, the fight got called up in the eighth round. Quendo come back in the last three rounds. The last the last three he won the won the sixth, seventh, and eighth. I didn't necessarily see it that way, but they're right there ringside. So it's closer than I thought. After further deliberation, after further deliberation, it is true they're gonna go with the unified rules which state that because it was an intentional headbutt that caused the cut and the fight was stopped due to the effects of that headbutt, then it is a disqualification just as if it would have been Joe. They're working it out, it trying to work it out. To me, it should be a disqualification. It shouldn't have to go to the cards. It should be a straight day Q. They're working it out, trying to figure it out. Yeah, so the using the unified unified rules with an intentional headbutt, it's a disqualification. So if you're DQ'd, you don't go to the scorecards. You can't get DQ'd and go to the scorecards. A DQ is a DQ. A DQ means you're out. And uh, there's a lot of confusion in the ring here. Been waiting for a long time. Went for a long time for a decision. Still waiting for a decision as the fight was stopped due to a clash of heads. So the head but occurred in the fifth round. Was it the fifth round or the third round? Oh yeah, it was the fifth round. It was intentional, but we're still waiting. We're still waiting for. Still waiting for the decision. Still waiting for the decision. There's confusion. Tony Weeks has called it intentional. Tony Weeks' call. He's the closest man to the action. But for me, that's what Kendo style. He brings his head in. You're 
to fight all different types of styles. We're gonna have what to the hell? That, have to get that image a little bigger. We're still waiting for the decision. The fight's being called off. How are they gonna rule it? There's confusion. Blood coming from the cut. You can see once they clear that up. You know, to me, I honestly feel like he gave up. Uh oh. He gave up. He wanted out. Uh oh. Uh oh. One of the commentators saying that Herring gave up. Bomac called the referee over, said he couldn't see, Herring couldn't see, and there's a lot of controversy in the ring right now. We're still waiting, we've been waiting for like, what, about 10 minutes for the decision, to, to make a decision. Okay, so this isn't, this isn't looking, this isn't looking good for Herring's fight with Carl Frampton. Carl Frampton's going to be a lot harder than what he faced tonight. Herring is an old champ uh, for the weight class. They're going to make it official now. We're going to find out what the outcome is. Some of the commentators are saying that Herring quit. This don't look good. This don't look good. Due to repeated intentional headbutts. You have a winner by disqualification. And still, W, what? Junior lightweight champion of the world, WBO. Junior lightweight champion of the world is still Herring. So the final word from Bob Bennett, the Nevada State Athletic Commissioner, was that due to the fact that it was an intentional head, but everything reverted to that fifth round. The fight was stopped due to the cut caused by the... Okay, but the thing is that uh, did Herring quit? Did Herring quit? And is the... the and once the doctor comes into that corner, here's the fighter saying hmm. he can't see, takes a look at hmm. the eye, determines that to be true, Hmm. This is interesting. This is interesting. Okay, Bob Barron there shaking the hand of Herring. Looks like, looks like uh, I know where my money's going to be now. It's going to be on Carl Frampton. It's clear. Okay, I'm telling you, clear as day. Carl Frampton beats Jamel Herring. Carl Frampton beats Jamel Herring going forward. If that's who he fights, looks like a cash out fight for Herring uh, as a Quendo with his rough tactics came back and uh, according to the commentators won the, won, won the last three rounds. Herring's talking now in the interview, talking about the head. Mm. yeah okay so you know where to put your money folks you know where to put your money bet on frampton when he fights harry was ugly it was an ugly fight herring didn't get off did herring did herring get old in the ring tonight with the style with the head first style of a quendo did herring get old in the ring tonight so there's never been a situation where they've had to stop a fight speculation that he wanted out 
Hmm. Hmm. This don't look good, folks. This don't look good. This don't bode well for him, for Herring winning, winning the fight with Herring, with, 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 with Frampton. This don't look good for Herring winning the fight with Frampton. I'm telling you where to put your money, folks. I'm not telling you to gamble. But I am telling you where to put your money if you are so inclined. And it's not on Herring. <laughs> it is not on Herring. So Herring's saying his conditioning was good. He was never huffing and puffing or anything like that. The commentators in studio commentators had Quendo winning the last three rounds. This is interesting. This is very interesting. It's very interesting. Very interesting. Um, doesn't bode well for his fight with Frampton. Doesn't bode well at all. Does not bode well at all. Hmm. His eye, his eye was open. He said he couldn't see out the eye. You know, people are speculating now. Well, your eye looked open, bro. Your eye looked open. It was well open. It was very open. <laughs> I mean, not the cut. I mean, the eye itself. Yeah, there was blood rolling down, dripping down into the eye. But, I uh, mean, please. 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 Final thoughts. I agree 100 percent with Dre, but you know, going into this fight, Jamel Harry said it. He said, I knew a Kendall payment with his head. So he must he had to prepare himself for that head. Yeah. He said that he couldn't knew. see in the corner. All right, when the when the referee asked him what he was coming passed, out with a head. You know, and then the corner panicked. They didn't know the rules. They were like unsure <laughs> if if he quit or if he stopped <laughs> or if the fight was stopped, would he would <laughs> Yeah. Head. So I have a problem with all these things tonight, man. <laughs> oh, M G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, damn, damn. He's ready to believe that he's a world champion. You know, he doesn't believe it in his heart because he didn't. He didn't react like a fighter tonight. Oh, M G. Oh, M G. Um, what is that there? What is that there? What is that? What is that doing up on my screen? Get that off my screen. What's going on here? Mark Kriegel. What's going on? Herring said himself, he knows he was being judged on how he looked, and by that standard, he failed tonight. I hate to say it, but he failed. Yeah, he knew he was being judged. By the way, it looked. Jamel didn't deal with it very well at all. I can't see. 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 This was not the success that Jamel Herring envisaged. In envisaged. Jared Anderson had a TKO win. He's now six and zero. It didn't look good whatsoever. Whatsoever. Um. Yeah, it's not the way. It's not the way we expected it to be. Very odd ending to the championship fight. A win by DQ. An intentional clash of heads. Jonathan Aquindo was coming back. The guys in the studio they had Jonathan Aquindo winning the last three rounds. Um. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, but it looked like, yeah, people are saying it looked like, looked like he quit, looked like he had enough in there. So did, my question is, did Jamel Herring turn old overnight? You know, 
The, the question has to be asked, I'm afraid. The question has to be asked. Did Jamel Aaron Herring turn old overnight in there? Um, hey, hey, hey. I guess that's a question for you, the guys in the chat. That's a question for you guys in the chat. Did you, let me write it down. Let me write it down. Why would I stimulate you? Let me write it down. Did Jamel Herring turn old? Overnight? Question mark. Boom, 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 boom. Did Jamel Aaron Herring turn old overnight in there? Well, Jamel, Jamel Herring. Is 34 years old in the lighter weight classes. Um, uh, 34 years old, 34 years old. Is 34 years old in the lighter weight classes old? How old is Lomachenko? What, 31? They're calling him old. What? You know, Herring, Herring, how old is Herring? 34? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Herring is like four years older. Herring's four years older than Lomachenko. People are already saying that Lomachenko is right for the picking. He's going to fall off any day. He might be, well, not, not that he is right for the picking, but he might be right for the picking. What's going on here? The ref's, <laughs> the ref's face said it all, mate. Said it all. It's like, uh-oh, this is a tricky one. I think, uh, I think, did homeboy, did the homie, did the big homie quit? Did the big homie quit? Um, well, I hate to say it, hate to say it, but uh, did it get a little bit rough in there? And did he just say, um check please did jamel herring did he get a bit rough in there with the head did he get a bit rough in there with the head and did the jamel herring say check please i can't see i can't see i can't see oh no i looked around it didn't seem like the usual suspects who cover cover this fight yes 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 aaron daly sleep well my friend and uh we'll catch you tomorrow or later on today take care adios amigo um yeah so yeah did gerald J J did, did, did jamal herring get old in there or is it just a style was it a style thing is he gonna is jamal herring gonna look rejuvenated when he fights Frampton, Carl Frampton, is he going to come back rejuvenated? Or is he not? Smash that like button, folks. Smash that like button, folks. Um, what we got here? What we got here? Who we got here? We got Andre up in the building uh, saying that Frampton will give him hell. Oh, Frampton's going to knock him out, bro. Frampton's going to knock him out, bro. You heard, I'm not encouraging anyone, anyone to bet. Keep your money for your families, for your young ones, for your loved ones, and most importantly, yourself. Make sure that you're secure. So I'm not encouraging anyone to bet, folks, but I'm telling you this now. I'm telling you this now. Frampton's gonna beat. Frampton's gonna beat Herring. It could be by a KO. If you wanna, you know, but I don't know which round. It's gonna be later. But Frampton is going to beat Herring, mate. Trust me on that. If Herring lost the if Herring lost the last three rounds of this fight, yes, admittedly, due to 
due to a clash of styles, which led to a clash of heads. I don't know, man. I just, I, I know it's going to be different. I know it's going to be, they're going to say, well, Frampton comes with a different style. Frampton's not going to be leading with his head. Frampton this, Frampton that. But trust me, my friend, I'm asking you the question again. Did Herring turn old overnight? Did he turn old overnight? Has that dog, has the dog, has the dog left him? Is he comfortable now? Is he comfortable now? Is he... Is he going to, is he softer? Is he comfortable? Is he comfortable with his lot? He's been a champion for a few years now. Is he comfortable now? Uh, I hate to say it, I hate to say it, but uh, we got any questions will be asked. So we might as well start asking the questions right here, right now. Right here, right now. We got to start asking the questions. The questions will be asked. We got to start answering them. We got to start dealing with them. We got to start addressing them. I'm actually very disappointed with the broadcasting team's coverage of the fight results. When Crawford KO'd Khan with a thigh punch, we heard nothing but... <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. But when Oquendo rams his iron dome in the herring's head repeatedly from the opening bell, he quit. Mm, that's a very good observation. That is a very good observation. Was it Timothy Bradley? Timothy Bradley going in hard on him, pretty much saying that he quit. Was that Timothy Bradley? Was that Timothy Bradley who said that? Did he quit? Did he quit? Did he quit? That's a good question. Did he actually quit? Did Herring, did Jamel Herring quit? We got to ask the question. And did he lose the last three rounds? I gotta write it in. I gotta type it in. Did Jamel Herring quit? Hold on. Did I not already ask that question? No, that's a different question. Boom. Did Jamel Herring quit? Gotta ask the question. Gotta ask the question. Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. He quit. He quit, says Sy Syph Bud. Um, this don't look good, folks. This don't look good at all. This don't look good at all for Herring. Is it the end of the road for Herring? Is this the end of the road? Remember, boys to men? Is this the end of the road? Question mark. Is this the end of the road? Um... Hmm. I watch with the sound off. He quit. He only lost the last two rounds. Hmm. Okay. Andre said, no, he didn't quit. Is this the end of the road? He quit. No, he didn't quit. He quit. Yes. No. Yes. Hold on. Yes. No. Yes. No. See, it's a, it's a tough one. It's a tough one, folks. <laughs> o M G. 
Oh, FJ. You know, I'm kind of I'm kind of shirking my responsibility here to tell you the way I feel. Uh who who I hate I hate to say I hate to say a champion quit. I really hate to say it. I hate to say it. So how can I put it diplomatically? <laughs> how can I put this diplomatically? Um Nah, it's not the end. Well, you see, okay, let me ask you this then. You say it's not the end. Well, who wins? Okay, let's change the question. Let's change the question. Let's put it in writing. Who wins? Uh, Herring or Frampton? Question, what is it? Question mark. Who wins, Herring or Frampton? Boom. Boom, boom. There it is on your screen. Answer that. Riddle me that. Who wins, Herring or Frampton? Because Herring's supposed to be the next fight. Frampton's supposed to be the next fight for Herring. Herring's supposed to be the next fight for Frampton. Um. So who who you got? I've already told you I think I who I've got. Who you got? Who wins? Herring or Frampton? Drop the link. <laughs> okay, I'll drop the link. <laughs> I never seen this cap before. Uh, let's uh, let's take the risk. Let's take the risk and drop the link. Let's take the risk and drop the link. Okay, boom. The link is in. Uh, who wins? Herring or Frampton? Get your get your get your pick in. Get your pick in. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Um, where are we here? Where are we now? Where are we now? Yeah, man, it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. Okay, five bud. Yo, 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 what's going on, brother? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. Uh talk to me about the fight. What did you see, Sife Bud? Okay, man. Uh, I'll give it to you straight, man. I came in looking at the fight, uh, looking to get to see somebody get knocked out. You feel me? Yeah. Uh I saw them like, you know, all right, Herring, Herring, uh Jamel Herring is a good fighter, you know what I'm saying? He's technically sound, he got integrity, he's an ex-Marine. Dope, you know what I'm saying? So you'll come in here. Get a couple rounds in, that's cool. But I want to see you knock Buddy out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But he didn't. He didn't really pull the trigger, man. Like, uh, I mean, he, he. I didn't really see him working his jab the way I really wanted to see him work his jab. Mm -hmm. Uh, he only worked his way backwards. I wouldn't see him a little bit more forward action because you're fighting a journeyman. And I, not even a journeyman. You're fighting a bruiser. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I want to see him push him forward. I want to see him like you know get his tiny hands on him. One, two, his damn jaw. Take him out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we didn't see that. We saw a lot of clenching, a lot of uh, underhooks and shit like that. Excuse my language. Is that cool? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, cool. That's what's up. All right, so, yes, yeah, so I was expecting to see, um, I was expecting to see, uh, you know, uh, a knockout, and yeah. we didn't and we didn't get it. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when, and, but when, and, but when he, uh, and, I'm, and that's, we didn't get it, not because he finished, the, he finished the whole fight with him, which would have been a little bit disgraceful to say that, but, mm. We didn't get it because he fucking quit. Mm, 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 he fucking mm. quit. Like, are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh and like, he's like, yeah, my team, my team didn't want to, uh, you know. He, he's up with the f bombs, bro. He's up with the f bombs. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Um, apologies, yeah. man. No props. No props. Carry on. But uh, you know, he didn't. Uh, he 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 didn't pull the trigger. Mm. Uh, and 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 he comp he was complaining. He, it, it wasn't to the end of the fight when he started complaining. I mean, yeah, buddy, buddy was um. Buddy was uh was using his head a lot, but give him. I mean, come on, what do you, what do you expect? He's like six it's six inches shorter than you. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's to be understood. Working a jab, we don't have to worry about it. Mm, yes, I mean, I mean, what what's this question here? Um, he was head butted all night. Um, okay, let's deal. Let's deal with that. Let's deal with getting head butted all night. Um, okay, so recently. Recently, we saw the fight with uh, Tazu versus Horn. Right. Um, now, I call Horn uh, the Billy Goat. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Billy Goat Horn. Billy Goat Horn. Um, because he's head first. He's a head first guy. Now, if you are fighting a head first guy, as we saw masterfully displayed by Tazu, there mm -hmm. are techniques you can employ. Um, one is uh, the bull versus the matador. You know, you come in, he comes in, the bull comes in. We know it, we know, we know how to fight a head first guy by watching by watching bull, uh, what do you call it? Oh, the thing in Spain, uh, the bull fighting, whatever. The, the, the bull and the matador, you got yeah, it. The matador and the bull, the matador and the bull. Um, it's an established technique over, how long has that shizzle been going? That's probably been going hundreds of years. How, how long is it? Well, okay. I'll bet the whole 7-Eleven thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's say it's 100 years. Yeah, it's 7-Eleven. Let's say it's 100 years. It's the bull versus the matador. We know it. It's really good. We got videotape on it. You could study videotape. You can study videotape on the ball versus the matador. We know exactly what to do. Um, as the ball comes in, you sidestep, you twist, you pivot, you get off the center line, and boom, to one side or the other. Mix it up, change it up. Sometimes you go to the left with a left hook. Sometimes you, you, you pivot to the right with a right hook. We know how to fight the bull. We know how to fight the bull. Um, Costa Tazu uh, masterfully, recently, and masterfully displayed how you fight the damn bull. Um, not only do you pivot to one side or the other, but you know what? You also have a forearm. At the end of the forearm, there is an elbow. <laughs> okay. Facts, facts. Right. So, you know, there's a slicing move you can make also. Slicing move. If a guy's coming in with dirty tactics... Uh, there are ways and means to discourage him. <laughs> you know, the pivot to the left or the right, the, el the, the forearm, at the end of which there is an elbow. Uh, you can use the elbow in multiple ways, the forearm in multiple ways. You can pivot, you turn your man, you get behind your man, you, you throw your man down, you discourage your man. Right, and, you we see, and we've seen that today. We've seen that with... Uh... A lot with uh with this fight because he, he got thrown down by the back by the back of the head a couple of times. Yes, yes, exactly. Um, but he didn't Herring didn't employ the full the full range of tactics you can use against the head the bull. He didn't employ the full range of tactics you can use against the bullet. I would say he did it poorly. Um, where was the pivot to the left or the right? Where was the forearm? Uh, some of the throwing down, cool. He got one element right, but there were so many elements he did not employ. I agree. Uh, he, he circled to his right pretty much the whole time. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so there's so many elements he didn't employ, and uh, that made it. It was always going to be an ugly fight if you, to an extent if a guy's coming in with a head. But then I have to contradict myself because the Tazu Horn was a beautiful fight. It was a beautiful demonstration of the bull versus the matador. Um, Cypher Bud. Word, word, exactly. And uh, you know, it's funny you bring that up because uh, speaking of a of a bull at mm. at, at one forty at one fifty four, uh, mm. you got that guy uh, Mavrinov up there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying he, mm. he uh, that last fight he had uh, with the brother. I don't even know the, the, the cast name. He he he, uh, he looked good out there too, man. It was a, it was a good tear up. Yeah. And, uh, you know. Uh, uh, I would like to see um I would like to see Marinoff uh go at it with uh you know Casa Zeus, huh? Mm -hmm. yes. That'd be a dope fight at 154. Yeah. Absolute more, absolute more. Philip Carl Roberts in the building. Um, I think it was a bad result. Not enough warnings to warrant a DQ. Herring was looking for a way out and told the doctor that he could not see. <laughs> when you tell the doctor you can't see, um, you know the fight's over. Yeah. Um, that's that's an issue. Yeah, 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 <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Doctor, doctor called it, but the actual result was a mess. Um, Andre said referee was disgraceful. I don't want to call Tony Weeks disgraceful. Um, but yeah, there were some valid valid points there. Uh, not enough warnings. Not Tony enough warnings. I'm I'm gonna have to come out and say it, man. I'm gonna have to come out and say it. I hate to say it. I hate to say it. Get it off but, but uh yeah, I think I think Herring wasn't liking Herring wasn't liking it. 
Um, yes, as a Quendo was fighting dirty. Yes, um, I took a page out of Billy Goat Horn, uh, Billy Goat Horn's book. Um, but uh, Herring, as a champion, you got you, as a champion, you're supposed to be better. You're supposed to be able to deal with any style. Uh, Scythe Bud, you're supposed to be de able to deal with any style as a champion. I mean, uh, yeah, but not necessarily. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, as a great fighter, you wouldn't be able to deal with all, all styles, right? Mm -hmm. um, I was thinking about it myself. I was like, whoa, um, you know, uh, Jamel Herring is like the, you know, clean cut, like cool, like this good guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he's a Marine, ex-Marine, mm -hmm. and he kind of yeah. gives you the whole vibe of uh, of, uh, of Andre Ward. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But mm -hmm. let's be real, man. Andre Ward would have yeah. been a dog. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Andre Ward could yeah. cut under his eye, could cut over his eye. Okay, yeah. uh, well, you know, I'm gonna go out there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get him up out of here then. Yes. Or, I, or I'm gonna go out there and if, I'm gonna have to just box him the whole way. Mm -hmm. He gonna yeah. make a way, but he not finna go go to the ref and say, "Hey, uh, I can't, uh, see. I can't see, man." Or, or <laughs> hell no, nah, man. Come on, dog. <laughs> keep it a buck. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, hell, I hate to, I hate to uh, talk negatively uh, of a champion. Um, but but did, did he get old in there? That's my question to you. Did he get old in there tonight? Oh my god, man! I mm -hmm. man, I said I said it. I was like, man, if Jamel Herring, if he if you if you would see if he if he had all the the experience and the intellect and all the the ring IQ and all the tricks of the trade that, and mm -hmm. that he that he has right now, mm -hmm. but in a in a in a body that was ten years younger of himself. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, he'd be a bad man, Majama, but I mean, that ain't what the case is, man. He, the reality is, he's 34 years old. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. And, uh, and he did sort of get a late start to uh, yeah. professional boxing. Yes. 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 I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it, folks. Sorry to say, I'm going to drink some water first. Don't keep it real, man. I mean, mm -hmm. like, ain't no, ain't no point in front. We're going to keep it real, man. Mm -hmm. Voila. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, um, Jamel Herring, in my opinion, he got old in there tonight. He got old in there tonight. And when I say he got old in there tonight, it doesn't mean necessarily that he got old in there tonight, but it means that he's showing the wear and tear now. I think he's showing the wear and tear. Where was the, is he got less, you know, a car, you know, a car engine, it has horsepower. So when you go to buy it, uh, you ask the guy, the sales guy, to show you, show you the 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 the, the readouts. You know the, the the power output, the brake brake horse power. Um, you want to know how much bhp uh, you got in the engine, and when it's new, you know exactly how much bhp you're working with. But then after a while, after a few years, let's say ten years later, <laughs> ten years down the line. You don't know how much BHP it's got left. It's not the same BHP that it had when it was new. It's different now. How much BHP does Herring have left? That has to be the question. And there's a question mark. There's a question mark on the BHP. Saif Bud, what say you? How much, man? <laughs> the question is how much time he got. I would say, you know, uh, don't sit on your hands, man. Mm. Because, uh, you know, I you gonna I, I I can I can I can like forecast his uh his decline is gonna mm. be similar to the uh to like Badu Jack. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, Badu Jack, you know what I'm saying? Badu Jack, it's like one year, you know what I'm saying? He was knocking the gel on his you know, knocking his teeth out of his mouth. Yeah. And then like the next year, you know, uh he 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 ain't on ain't on nothing. He has to get his getting his wig, getting his hair bust by uh, Marcus Brown. Yeah, yeah, yes. And ain't, ain't that two extremes, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because, oh. like, he had an eyeball coming out that forehead, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, Jamel Herring is showing wear and tear now. Showing wear and tear. Um, the dog, the dog, the dog. How much dog has he got left? How much BHP does he have left? I think See, the that's BHP what that's... is severely reduced. Severely. Right, right. And I'm and I'm looking at it like and uh and the reason why I said it like that because I could see him getting in the ring with, with like with somebody like a a Josh Warrington. Mm -hmm. 
and you know catching a real bad L yeah. like that. Real bad. Real bad. Real, real bad. Especially if it happened a year down, a year or two down the line, like 2022. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, from what I saw in there tonight, from what I saw in there tonight, uh the BHP is down. There's some there's some dog missing. There's some dog missing. There's some dog has gone a while. Right. Using the military terms, using military terms, some dog has gone a while. He's uh, got some dogs missing. Still got some dog in there, but uh less dog than before. That dog got a collar on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The dog got a collar on it. The dog got tame. <laughs> <laughs> the dog got tame. Took the dog from the wild. Uh, it was a wolf. It was a wolf when you got it. <laughs> now, it's, now it's a pooch. Now it's a pooch. Loves to watch, sit down on the sofa next to you and watch TV. Yeah, yeah, man, he, he got the he got the poodle curl top on too, man. He got the poodle tail top on him. They give him a little jacket in the winter. <laughs> they give him those little booties, you know, to stop his paws getting cold. His little paws getting cold. Yeah, you know, and arthritis you... setting them paws, man. <laughs> little bit of arthritis, little bit of arthritis in the hip. Hey, oh know. my god! Hey, now, hey, now, hey, now you, now you talking, man? That's real life. <laughs> <laughs> you know the knees, the knees ain't what they used to be. Yeah, you know how, what I'm saying. How many, you know, more, how many more humps that dog got in him? How many, how many more humps the dog got left in him? <laughs> how many more humps? <laughs> you know, he's looking kind of sad now. Before he used to walk with his head up high, but now he's just kind of leveling out a little bit. You don't look the same as when you took him in from the forests, from the wilds. Things done change for Jamel Herring. Uh, I'm not celebrating it. I didn't enjoy it. Right. He didn't look. He didn't look like the top dog. Well, he. I guess he was the top dog, but uh, and he showed moments of sparkle and inspiration. But overall, um, it brings me no pleasure to say this, but. Uh, Unquestionably, unquestionably, the best days of Jamel Herring are gone. And, um, you know, I'm talking, I'm saying he's 34 and he's old people. Some other people are saying he's 34 and he's not old. I'm saying he's 34 and he's old. He's 34 <laughs> and he's old. He did his military service. He did his tour of duty twice. And, um, you know, I always feel that it's best. I always like it. I always prefer it when a champion leaves comes out of the game at the top um and he, 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 jamel herring is not going any higher right now uh, am i saying that he should retire on the basis of one average performance no i'm not saying that but i'm saying that you should seriously consider getting out to the top if your money's right well well okay let's not just pour the dog out the pasture yet you know what I'm no saying? no uh no. I'm, I'm 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 gonna say it like this um, I I dig it, man. Like, um, you almost took me down that road, man. But you know what? Mm -hmm. I look at it like um, uh, he did have cold. He did have COVID, and that might have affected his camp. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Even if he didn't really notice it, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. But like, say if uh, just by just by being uh diagnosed, they might have. I don't know when they diagnosed him, so maybe maybe it was a uh, you know some type of restrictions that might have hindered some of his uh his camp. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, yeah. could be anything. You know what I'm saying? Maybe one good he could be one one good camp away from beating the dog shit out of uh out of Carl Frampton. Yeah, Frampton. Uh, do you believe that or do you not believe that? Is are you being optimistic or are you being realistic? I'm 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 actually, you know what I'm saying, just uh I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt, basically. Right. I, I I'm not saying that I'm not saying he ain't look like he needed a damn cane out there, like as he did. Mm -hmm. He yeah. needed a damn cane and some damn mace because that the boy was on his ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was on his ass and, 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 and he didn't have to be, man. For real. He, he didn't have to be, man. He could just real. throw some of that. Throw, you want to put, put your head in like that? Well, I'm gonna hit your head. Hmm. I'm, I'm gonna hit you on top of the head. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. hit you with this with this with this with this uh this looping left hand mm -hmm. and this tight right hook upside yeah. the back and the side of your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but he, I feel like he, he couldn't catch him because the reflexes ain't what they was when he's a 24 year old Marine. 100. 100%. Man. And um, six months down the line, 
when he faces Frampton. Um, you think he's going to be better when he faces Frampton? You think he's going to be better? I don't think he'll show anything worse than what he showed tonight. Hmm. Hmm. I think he'll have a better day. So I can't I can't stun him. He he had a, he had a bad night. He had a bad night. We can't yeah. put the dog out to pasture based on a bad night. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, talking about talking about nights, it's uh, five thirty nine a.m. in the morning Woo! over here in the UK. And, okay. Uh, that means that uh, that means that the Rafi is gonna have to go and try and catch up on some beauty sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Saif, bud, it's been good having you on to chop it up. Uh, you know, press that uh, subscribe button, hit the hit the hit the bell icon to stay updated with news and notifications. And you're welcome over here when we live and you're available. Feel free to drop on in and uh, hit that link and come on in and talk some boxing. Salute, fam. Have a good night. 100% that was Saif Bud. Much appreciation to him. Much appreciation to everyone who stopped on by uh, to chop up the boxing. And, you know, I was looking around. I was looking around, looking around. And uh, I saw a lot of places weren't covering this fight. I'm, I'm kind of, can somebody tell me, tell me why? Can somebody tell me why? Uh, I've looked at, and I'm going to do it again. I've looked at what is this here? Let me find. Let me find a window. Let me find a window. Let me have a look over here. I don't understand it. All the usual suspects who cover the big fights, a lot of them weren't covering this one. I don't know what. I don't know what the hell. I don't know what the hell is going on. How come the Rafi's covering this fight and a lot of the a lot of the dogs out there they're not. I don't understand. Can somebody tell me why? Um, I'm gonna finish off with the last comments before I head up, head up on out of here. Uh, I was picking Herring to beat Frampton. Not so sure now, but we all have to see. But we all have to see that it's not an elite level. What do you mean? We all have to see that it's not that he's not. He's not. An elite level fight, it's not an elite level fight. Elite level fight. Are you saying one of the guys aren't elite? Aren't elite level? At one time, both of the guys were at elite level, but now one of them is not? Is that what you're saying there? Um, uh, what we got here? What we got here? Uh, Jamel Herring should have one more big title fight, and that's it. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Um, it's been good, Rafi. Same time here as well. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we chopped it up. My link dropped out a couple of times. So there's a couple of spots in there early on where my link dropped out. What can one say? Such shizzle happens from time to time. But we got through it. Um, still curious, still scratching my head as to why... The big, the big dogs. Why the big dogs that normally cover the big fights weren't covering this one? What the hell is going on? What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you to everyone who joined in. Thank you to uh, what was the name? What was the name? Sif Bud for jumping on, so I could have a little bit of boxing conversation. Um, yeah, and with that. It's late as hell over here, here, or is it early as hell? Whichever way you want to look at it, but that's it. It's a wrap. It's the Raphael Dawkins, it's the combat radio, it's the like, it's the subscribe, it's the comments, it's the shares. And it is hitting that bell icon to stay updated with news and notifications. And don't forget about the live show. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's the Raphael Dawkins, it's the combat radio. And, uh, it's the Jamel Herring. Jamel Herring leaving us with more questions than answers. The Jamel Herring got having us question. Having us question, is it, is it, is it time? Is it check, please? Is this a wrap? Is it game over? 
is it thank you is it sayonara it is is it is it yeah that's enough you know that's enough you know i think is it is it his final tour of duty what is it exactly well the big boys went missing when the big boys went missing Rafi was here to give it to you live and direct what's going on here Herring Herring and Frampton were never elite. Just saying. Decent fighters, though. Mm, okay. Interesting observation. Interesting observation. Okay. Okay. So, we've wrapped it up. It's the thank you. It's the Raphael Dawkins. It's the Combat Radio. And... It, what am I going to do here? What's that there? I need to drop that down. Do I need to drop that down? As I say, my adios. Okay. It's Raphael Dawkins to Combat Radio, and I'm out. Radio.